Okay guys, good evening. I would like to tackle the two uh, types of learning activities which can help the student to develop their skills okay, and their motivation. Okay, the first activity that I uh, will mention is the brain writing. Okay, so what is brain writing? Brain writing, sometimes called individual brainstorming, okay, is a method for quickly generating ideas by asking participants to write uh, their ideas on paper or online, rather than announcing them in traditional group brainstorming sessions. Okay, so what are the uh, what are the procedures of this kind of activity? First, is that Appoint someone to be the moderator. Okay. The moderator ensures that everyone stays on track throughout the sessions. Okay. First, they should hand out copies of the brain writing template and ask participants to fill in the date and the focus of the sessions. This is a good way to ensure that everyone knows what needs to be achieved. Okay. The second one is that decide on the length and the number of rounds. Okay, and to give people enough time to come up with their own ideas and respond to the people's but don't let things run on for too long okay so we should not uh, taking time so much time is not advisable okay the third one is that begin round one okay we can begin the round one the moderator starts the timer and tells everyone to write down three ideas in the in the three spaces provided around one. The discussion needs to take place at this stage. And the fourth one is that exchange worksheets. The, the students will uh, change their wor worksheets. Okay. The fifth one is repeat the process round by round. Okay. During each subsequent round, participants write down three more ideas. These can be brand new ideas or can build on ideas that other people have already suggested on the worksheet. After each round, the worksheets are swapped around again to a different persons each time. Okay, if possible. If possible. Okay. Number six, discuss all the ideas. After the final round, the moderator collects everyone's worksheets, then displays and talks through all the suggestions that have been, have been made. Use a whiteboard to do this, or if you are meeting online, try out an online collaboration. Okay, so uh, those are the procedures of the activity called brain writing. And you know, uh, it has an advantage. Okay, the advantage is that uh, the benefits of brain writing, because brain writing has everyone write down their ideas at the same time. The process often generates more ideas faster. Additionally, brain writing is a more inclusive approach to idea generation because it gives everyone an equal opportunity to participate and share their thoughts. And also, should not uh, forget, uh, forget the, the disadvantage of this kind of activity. Okay. Some participants are more quiet and don't like to speak spontaneously is spontaneously in groups okay other the participants speaks too much some participants need longer to understand the team and can immediately provide ideas okay. it's not possible to cover all risk with brainstorming okay so those uh those are the disadvantage and the advantages of the activity brain writing and uh would like to present the second second uh, activity which is called uh, jigsaw jigsaw activities are a specific type of information gap activity that work best when used with the whole class okay? so the class is first divided into groups of four to six learners who are then given some informations on a particular aspect of the topic which they then become the experts in okay so that is the jigsaw activity and the uh, procedures what are the procedures 
this kind of activity first is that divide the students into five or six person jigsaw groups second one appoint one students from each group as the leader they should have a leader in this in this uh, kind of activity divide the students into five or six person jigsaw groups appoint one student from each group leader okay, so those are the uh the the procedures okay. and uh, the advantages of this kind of activity it will help to build the the comprehension of the students and also it encourages the cooperative learning among students third one it helps improve listening communication and problem solving skills and also the disadvantage of the activity is that okay, according to Johnson and uh, according to Johnson 2000 there are also some disadvantages of using the jigsaw method they are number one it requires some time to prepare students to learn how to work in groups and also it requires some time to make groups that each group has heterogeneity in their member ability and also teachers should make special treatment okay so uh, again those are the uh, learning activities that i presented which can help the students to be developed their